like so exciting and it feels like an adventure every time. You're a huge part of me and I'm so thankful for that. Good morning, guys. I am in Maryland. Um, I'm actually here for a graduation for my honey's nephew. So it's actually really nice out here. The air quality is actually bad out here, too. I'm not even trying to be mean, but I'm happy I left New York City because the index there is like almost 200, 250. And you guys know, like, five, I was watching something on TikTok, 500 is like bad. It's like dangerous. So I'm actually happy that I'm not there, but I have allergies. So I have like all allergies, outdoor allergies, all that type of stuff, dust, standard, all that kind of stuff. So for me right now, it's kind of like chokehold season. So um, yeah, so we're actually on our way now. We're going to go pick up some balloons. It's 10.04. Uh, got ready this morning. Look really cute. Wear my Target outfit that you guys saw in the hall. And yeah, so we're headed out. Really excited. Undershirt. You did? Yeah. Why? I wore it as a regular shirt. You showing some Cleekly today? Y'all see the crowd? And I'm boosting. I'm in there. I'm in there too. Look at the crowd. Look at the crowd. Look at the crowd. She did that. She did that. Look at the mom. <laughs> Graduation was super cute. Avery looked really cute. Uh, we got some bomb cupcakes. Didn't eat mine yet. You must eat it. I show them. It looks so freaking bomb. Why are you not focusing on it? Whatever. It's a stupid thing. I showed them already. It was nice and moist. Very moist. So we're yes. headed back to her sister's house and then I think we're gonna go get food. And then the air, the air quality here is not as bad, but I feel like it gets worse during the throughout the day. Cause I've been look, I was looking at the thing. It started to clear in the morning in New York around five to six, and then towards as the day progressed, it started to get smoggier and smoggier. But out here, it's not that bad. Like it's 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 bad, but it's not that bad. Y'all see that? So it is what it is. We're planning on going out tonight, so. I'm gonna party in DC. From here. How far is DC from here? So, so we're gonna go out tonight on thir Thirsty Thursday. You're supposed to hold the door. Hold the door. <laughs> <laughs> he, might, he might not eat it. I guess we might go now. I need a scoop. Okay. And this water. Yes. What is that? That's all right here. Yeah. Oh, no, wait a minute. I'm going to Look at everybody. Uh-uh. Look at that. 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 Look Anybody birthday? Lucky no, graduation! Ready? Uh-huh. One, two, three, catch it. Oh. Hey. <laughs> and it was a big one piece. More? Yeah, one more. One, two, three. Oh, oh okay. We're at Tanger Outlet now to do a little sh, -sh shop or sh what is
I wish it was a silver highway, but this is super cute. feels like I haven't talked to you guys all day. It's been a very, very long, hectic ass day today. Just got back to New York City and we're headed off to the Red Sox game. Got the look on today. I'm looking rather ravishing per usual. Um, the lipstick is from the PR package from L'Oreal and the lipstick is so, so pretty. So I'll show you guys my outfit. It's just shorts in the top. It's like a little breezy. So I'm gonna bring my um, oversized fashion over uh, distressed denim jacket. All right guys, we made it to the Yankee Stadium. Game starts in approximately one hour. We gotta go through. So, should you get it validated first? Good job. Thank you. Fucking fucking back. We are back. We are you didn't open my door, my love. So tonight was amazing. It was a success. That's such a great time. See you guys tomorrow. Yeah. We gotta come back. Look at the cones. Huh? You better, you better. It's indoors. Oh, it's just a roof. That's clear. Yeah. You never been to this one? Surprise! What is it? I don't come. No, I don't. I never. This is my first time coming to this one.
All right, y'all, so today has been a pretty eventful day today. I'm on my way back home. One, my nail broke and another nail broke, but these nails are a little bit on the cheap side. I wanna show you guys some things that I got off of Amazon when I get to the house. Um, I started packing for my trip. I'll show you guys how far I got and the things I need to put in. La I have such a great mother. Like, I had laundry that needs to get done, so she decided that she'll just wash it for me and fold it for me, so I'll pick that up from her on Wednesday. I actually leave on Thursday morning, so today is Sunday. It's crunch time. I have some wigs to do for the a wig sale on Wednesday. I'm just gonna drop the wigs on the Wednesday. Tomorrow's gonna be mainly me um, getting their wigs ready um, and just filming content and stuff like that tomorrow I also have to film a hair video tomorrow but I'll probably do that earlier on the, in the day and then start doing the wig still stuff so all the wigs will be up on um, by the end of tomorrow night when Monday night so you have like two days to kind of figure out if you want to want the wig or not there's only like maybe like 12 wigs so it's not that many but they're really nice wigs at the same time so I am going to go ahead and get me some pop I got the Popeye's ghost pepper wings y'all I didn't eat all day. I had like all night. Day. I had a Haitian patty today and that was had some coffee. A bitch is starving. Hi. Yeah. Thank you. A bitch is hungry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. All right, guys, so I got myself some Popeye's um, ghost pepper wings. They're actually six pieces for five dollars right now. So I got some wings, and I also got the home style mac and cheese because I wanted to try it out. Let me look at it because I don't really, oh, um, it's not going to go. Ugh. Like, I don't got good, I don't have high hopes for this. I don't know if I'm going to like this at all. I'm a little pissed off now, but I'm going to go ahead and try it. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Ugh, I should've just, should've just got the wings. I did get some Haitian food for dinner tonight, so I'm gonna hang out at the house tonight after I finish getting everything I need to get done, meaning I have some two wigs that I need to rinse out, have one more wig to wash, let those three hang uh, air dry, and then I'm gonna actually show you guys how to, how I dye my units jet black. So I have two wigs that I'm bringing with me on the trip that are already black, one is already black, but I wanna heighten up the black on it, so I'm gonna just add some more dye on it, and then I have a straight unit that's a clothes. These are both like closure units, like there's no glue in these units whatsoever, they look flawless AF, so I needed two straight units, I got a long straight one and then the bob, my little, my little bob that's jet black so that one i'm just gonna re-dye her up just to get her freshly vibrant jet black and then the long one that i have from Eunice hair company that one the middle part one that's about 24 inches long i absolutely love that straight unit i'm actually gonna dye that one jet black as well there's just something about jet black hair that just it just it just kills the look so i'm gonna show you guys how i quickly dye them jet black i try my hardest not to catch the lace um but if i do kind of mess up sometimes i just go back and like bleach the knots again one time if the, if the hair dye soaks into the knots i just go back and bleach the knots one time so if i have to do that today then i will but i'm pretty good at it i usually start at the bottom and then go up on the top root of the hair with a comb so that i don't saturate the lace so i'll show you guys how i do that and that's going to be my wig prep I got my toes on you guys saw. So I'm not gonna get my eyebrows set because they look pretty good. And that's gonna be basically it for um trip prep. Like I'm practically done, y'all. Like this time I've been on my shit. Y'all know I'm moving in like two and a half weeks, so I really have to be on it with stuff. This vlog, guys, I'm telling y'all this vlog will go up on time this time. Don't worry, it'll go up. Tell her I can't snake you. Ray gun on safety. My girl's so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She wants the two-tone spaceship. Blow smoke screen daily, so the stress don't phase me. I'm going, I keep it factual. I'm on sabbatical. I'm out in Central America. I need a break from hysteria. Park like the one with the carousel. I get it lit in your area. I'm locked to the vision, it couldn't be clear. You couldn't pay me to care enough. I dare you to hate me supreme with the sound through the stereo. So turn it up loud when you hearing us. We live in this good in your area. My mama proud, she tearing up and it's going down. Got your girl aroused by these massive stacks like a hundred pounds. Running big laps till the sun is down like a hundred miles. Tenant frames on me, leaning down. I'm winning now. Been a while, you ain't like me then, but how you like me now? Red one, if I hold you down, I'ma keep it there till we in the ground. Jet black when I paint the town, only blue sheets when they pay me now. Treat a setback like a step back. Wave, I got the game in a vice grip. Way up when the virus clear. All the homies on the flight list. Verbally gifted, take the plot and I twist it. Got a big lit. Sex with the incense, got my mind rants, won't stop from relentless. I'ma need safety. Tell her I can't snake you. Ray gun on safety. My girl's so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She want the two tone spaceship. Blow smoke screen daily, so the stress don't face me. Yeah. Going, 
I want a grill for the mouthpiece, so write that a light on my face. Your shawty just call me a fave, cause she like my character traits. I never stop for a break. I put a lock on the game, I put a stock in my name, but I give a f about the fame. I took a bite out of life and it tastes so exquisite, it feel like you do when you look in my pen. Hopeless romantic, my girl, chin up for the kid. I'm not on no simps. We'll stop to the youngest, he dreams. Wanna take him from rags to Alright, guys, so good morning. I am actually on my way to go get my lashes done. I'm gonna be a few minutes late. Hopefully, they got a little grace period, like a five, ten minute grace period, which they probably should. My appointment is at 10 o'clock. I won't get there till 10 06. It's not too far from my house. Literally, I'm just gonna park the car and run into the nail salon so I can get this done. Um, I haven't got lashes done in since like two years now. I tried them by myself. I think I just need to get someone to do them. So we're gonna go ahead and try this today. I'm gonna get the wispy set, the hybrid set, guys. Bring you guys in with me um, and see how it goes. Hopefully this light hurry up because I don't wanna be late late. I believe there's a grace period for this one, so. Yeah. I'm so exhausted, guys. Last night I stayed up till four o'clock in the morning till four o'clock in the freaking morning finishing up videos for the week because i leave on thursday <coughs> you guys know monday's an admin day for me i not only finished and edited two hair videos i also did all the weeks for the wig sale yesterday so everything for the wig sale is ready and it's up on my website so i think i'm just gonna leave this stuff up there i was gonna do the wig sale tomorrow but i wanted to give some time so when i get back from my trip then I'll have the wig sale. So basically I'm done with my work as far as the week goes. I've done all the videos I've needed to. I just have one thing to edit, which is the vlog that I'm gonna edit tonight for tomorrow. So the vid the vlog, the weekly vlog will go up tomorrow and then you guys will see me next week because, uh, you know, we all got show vlog for the week. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just thinking about scheduling for next time. I feel like once I move, I'll be able to settle. So there's only like a few weeks left before I move. So I feel like things would be a little bit different as far as schedule and what I'm doing. So I'll probably have like a different schedule. Maybe I'll do two vlogs a week. Maybe I'll do a daily vlog a week, you know? So I don't know yet. But I am tired. Like I will, I went to sleep at four o'clock in the morning. My honey called me at seven before she went to work. And then I went back to sleep and woke up at 9.30. When I get back to the house, I'm definitely going to have to go lay the fuck down because I'm tired as fuck. So I know y'all looking at me like, where the hell are her lashes at? So I ended up going very unprofessional. Like, yesterday I got a text message and I've been getting spam text messages when people are like, oh, hi, how's your weekend? Haven't seen you in a while. And those are spam messages. If you ever get like weird text messages um and you don't know the number those are usually spam so i never really i just delete those people so after i booked the appointment yesterday i was a little bit confused because there was no deposit usually you put a deposit down when you're getting like lashes done or your hair done or whatever so i'm like okay bet maybe because it is uh, like a lash school or whatever that she's not gonna she's not charging me now she's just gonna wait till i get there so i got a text message yesterday i ignored it i didn't know who it was the text message was mad vague it was like oh hey love um how's it going if you are a professional business and it's my first time, I'm a first time client, I'm not on your roster on your phone, is that the way you message somebody? Why was she why didn't she address who she was, what she was texting me for? Hey love, how you doing? Number one red flag. Cause I didn't even know it was her, to be honest. There was no number attached to it, so I didn't know that was her texting me. Anyways, so I go in today and I call because I'm outside. I'm like, okay, she's not here, it's ten o'clock she's not here so I call and I'm like hi I have an appointment today she's like oh I text you to confirm and I said I didn't get a text message so then after I realized I looked at the number and I looked back at my text and I was like oh that was her that texted me like why like I don't understand why she would text me in that format that's not how you professionally text someone especially with all the spam shit going on and I'm like very paranoid I'm not gonna respond back to someone I don't know she should have addressed me differently in the message but it is what it is so she calls me, she said, oh, I'll be there in a few minutes. So that was at 10, 18. So I gave her the benefit of the doubt. I waited because there was um, the side that I parked on, they were giving tickets. So I was just watching my car, sat in my car, got iced coffee, whatever, and just waited. So I kind of, I left the car around like 11 o'clock. So I gave her like a 30 minutes. She wasn't calling me or texting me back. So I'm like, okay, let me go back to the door. I waited at the door. I texted her. I said, hey, I'm outside waiting. No response. So I just decided to leave. So I ended up coming home. It's kind of weird because I live in New York City. Like how is there nobody out here to do lashes or have like same day appointments? I just find that really weird, but it is what it is. So I'm going to Greenpoint and I'm going to a lash bar or spa there. 
and I'm gonna get a set done with them. I asked them about the glue and stuff like that because I have sensitive eyes. So everything seemed gravy or whatever. Another thing, lashes out here are expensive as fuck. I know it's New York City and it's expensive, but damn. Regular lashes, I think I never paid, I think I paid maybe like 120 one time. These motherfuckers are asking for like $160. Let me tell you something, I'm gonna do it today. Y'all know I'm frugal as fuck. But because I wanted to get my lashes done and I committed to it today, it was part of my schedule. I'm like, fuck it, I'm just gonna do it. So I have an appointment at six o'clock, guys. Um, these fucking people at this building, they want to come show my apartment for whatever fucking reason, which is annoying as fuck too. So I'm waiting for her at 4 o'clock. If she don't show up at 4 o'clock, around 4.45 I'm going to leave because that's when traffic starts picking up. And I want to at least get to the nail salon on time so that I can get my hour and 30 minute lash, new lash set put on. So, yeah. So I'm about to get my makeup and stuff ready, pack my makeup and stuff in my book bag, get like all the other little toiletry things together. And... Yeah, I'm gonna be chilling. Today I'm gonna edit this vlog. This vlog will go up tomorrow. The bathroom, man. I got the door open. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, the vlog will go up tomorrow. So as soon as I get back, I'm going to do some more packing with you guys. I showed you guys how I dye the wigs. I gotta get the wigs ready. Because they're straight units, it's very simple. So all I'm gonna do with those units is just blow them out and lightly straighten them. The long one, I'm gonna straighten it finely through. I'm gonna bring my hot comb and my straightening straightener um, with me on the trip. I'll put them in my book bag. And yeah. So I'm almost done wrapping things up. I've done all the content. I did the hair videos I need to do, have those scheduled. So I'm done with that. Just need to schedule the vlog for tomorrow and then I'm completely done with that. And I'll see y'all. I'll be up premiere with you guys tomorrow and stuff like that. But I'll see you guys next week. You guys will get this vlog next Friday and then other stuff. So y'all know how that goes. But today and tomorrow, I'm chilling. Like I just want to relax. I got therapy session right before my trip tomorrow, so I really, I haven't, I didn't talk to her last week because of the scheduling, because I went to D.C., so I'm excited to talk to her. I had a really good week, and I've been having, like, a really good last couple of weeks, so, um, yeah, it's nice to talk to her, catch up and stuff like that. Today, I did uh, do an application for an apartment. Uh, really really nice like I said um, it's a, like when it comes to being a uh, influencer and stuff like that it's a little bit harder because they want you we don't get like pay stubs like some of us get paid every day some of us get paid every two days some of us get paid every three days some of us might get paid once a week so it's really different so you got to kind of break it down for these people and it's just annoying so I had to do that but like I said I'm really confident because I'm like overqualified for this shit so in my head I'm like whatever like it is what it is my credit score is really good so I'm not really worried about that it's just the part when like people are so I'm telling you, every time I apply for an apartment it's almost like um it's like everyone's just like not understanding like how it's possible like I don't know if it's because I'm black or whatever it is I don't know it's a race thing but they just think like it's impossible for a black woman to live a good life like it, it, it's just annoying but it is what it is I mean it's, I've, it's it's been like that for a while at this point I really don't care like I ain't lying you see the proof so period but it always it's always like a weird like like oh she's lying and she's scamming no I'm working like the rest of y'all Y'all see them tax papers, period. So, yeah. yeah. I just, I really wanna be on this island. <laughs> I can't wait. Like, I know it sounds crazy. I just came back from, what well, I went to Bar, no, Trinidad in the beginning of May, but like, I'm having like withdrawals. Like, I need to get the fuck out of here. All right, y'all, so I wanted to show you guys these really cute rings that I got off of Amazon. I have two of them on right now. I really love like these gold accessory uh, rings. They're obviously not real and inexpensive. So with these, if you have like bigger chunky hands, they have like an adjuster on the back of it so they can actually fit your hand. So this one right here, I really like these kind of like geometric shapes. I ended up picking this multi-pack and I think this multi-pack is actually pretty dope, guys. Like look at these very cute little rings uh this is the brand i'll leave the link down below for amazon but these are what the rings look like on your hands very cute i also got this one from h and m same thing has like that geometric shape like the one on my hand also has these other ones that are kind of single loose uh, which i thought were super cute look at that one very very cute now i also got this one right here this a pack of earrings i w thought they're gonna be big but i always read the reviews on amazon and i do like a dainty type of hoop so i pink these like cute little dainty hoops off of Amazon guys I love the geometric shapes on these ones well these as well like look at that one very very cute guys and my nails are from Primark as you guys can see look at that look at those nails come on 
So I thought that these were really nice as well. They got a small size one, pretty nice size ones. Like these right here are nice, decent size. These are pretty big as well too. And then this size is the next size. So I'll probably, probably pair these with these and add like these other ones that I have, like little um, hanging or dangling in earrings and stuff like that. But I thought that these were cute. And <clears throat> this is how it came in the box. I'll leave a link down below for the rings as well as the earrings from Amazon. Uh, it'll be in my Amazon storefront. But if you want like these cool little geometric rings, very simple, cute, dainty, inexpensive jewelry, definitely check out Amazon. I also picked up these little corner puffs. These were on the um, Amazon as well. I believe this pack was like $5.99 for six, which is not bad. I'll leave a link down below. These are actually popular. I see everyone using these to put their setting powder on. So I had to get my hand on these. So I picked out this pack for $6. So I wanted to show you guys this Amazon. I've been going on there here and there looking for stuff. I've just been into uh, these types of rings and stuff like that. So when I saw that they had them on Amazon, I said, girl, go ahead and get you some new little stuff. You guys know I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm filming this. I'm leaving tomorrow. So I was trying to get all my things in order.